chaos from where I was writing a recording last night. Just look at it. I literally wrapped up writing a brand new song, which came out of the blue, literally out of nowhere. It was inspired by a spider called Gladys living in my bathroom wall. I know I don't have all the production skills that I need yet to be able to make this into something really special. I know I have a lot to learn on guitar and other instruments that I can dive into to make this into what it could be. But I have written all the lyrics, the melody line, an intro, the chord progressions. So far, I am very happy with it. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm drinking water out of a wine glass because I want to be fancy but I also don't like having hangover. Also because it's nine o'clock in the morning. No judging, just a personal preference. You see that hole there? That little gap is where Gladys used to live. And she pretty much kept to herself until she had a million babies. Okay, maybe not a million but there were definitely hundreds, like tiny, teeny, tiny little things hundreds going up my wall. It got to the point where I was like, Gladys, you've overstayed your welcome. I said, you could come over. I did not invite the kids. So I haven't seen her in a little while. I did encourage her to vacate the premises. But I was thinking about Gladys <coughs> and her million babies before I got in the shower. Shower. And the word contaminated was just like going around my head, you know, like, oh, she's contaminating my house. That is the spark of inspiration. The tiny little spark was this one word which was inspired by Gladys the Spider. So I start humming in the shower. Not like that. La, 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 la. Obviously with fewer clothes on. And the lyrics I wrote in the shower were, this house contaminated with memories. And then I was just off on one. This house contaminated with memories, poisoned by the debris of a broken life. And that, ooh, that part was the only bit that I actually wrote in the song, but I kept repeating it again and again and again so that I could remember it by the time I got out of the shower. The, um, <laughs> the melody line and the lyric just came to me at the same time and I was like, I must not forget this. And that's how the song started. So I rocketed into my bedroom and grabbed my iPhone and uh, started typing down the lyrics so that I wouldn't forget them. I also um, did a little recording on my camera, but like I'm so red from being just out of the shower that I look like, I look like, what do I look like? A red crayon. <laughs> Yeah, I wrote down all the lyrics and had a video recording of the melody so that I wouldn't forget. And when I first wrote that bit, I wasn't sure whether I wanted it to be a chorus or a verse, but I thought it was good enough to be a chorus and that's kind of what I've done with it. My hair is doing weird things today. You know when it gets like a crinkle in it from where you've had it in a hairband? And the crinkle just went drop out. I think I was in my bedroom too when, no I was, I was definitely in my bedroom um, when I wrote the second part of the chorus. The way I originally wrote the second part of the chorus went like this. Consumed by the darkness, bloody bruised and heartless, this was my life. And that was written like pretty much as soon as I was out of the shower and writing the first lyrics down. Um, but I switched the lines around and I switched out the word consumed with blinded. Firstly, because like if you're talking, you say consumed, you don't say consumed. And like, that's why it doesn't flow as well. So I changed that f for blinded, which is such a cliche, but I kind of like the cliche. So I thought I'll keep it. <laughs> And um, I switched the lines around just because I thought it flowed so much better. And that's all I had, lyrics and melody line on day one, I think. Oh yeah. The next thing I did was I got a guitar <laughs> and I just started figuring out chords. And I did this by um, dropping down to drop D. it's just so easy just to bar the top and figure stuff out really quickly for someone of my level who's I mean I still consider myself a beginner I eventually came up with this this house containing the memories poisoned by the debris of a broken life this house bloody bruised and heartless blinded by the darkness this was my life this I have 
like that little riff just proves to me how far I've come in terms of writing music, in terms of uh, f from the mindset of a musician as opposed to a singer. I would have never come up with that before. To me personally, it's such a big win. Um, and I think it's a win for the music too. I think in the first day, I pretty much just like played that same tune over and over and over and over again, and just to lodge it in my brain for a starters. And secondly, because I think the more I play it, the more I think about it, the more I, um, what do you call it, um, meditate on it, the more likely I am to come up with other ideas to go with it for potentially the verses. I can't actually remember whether it was the first day or the second day that I wrote the verses. I wanted it to kind of be a bit more subdued and um, I guess a little bit serious. This is what level we've got to now, is not actually clearing anything away, just shoving it to the side while I do something else. <laughs> the first line, all I had in my head was, you know that cliche uh, phrase, I came, I saw, I conquered? I <laughs> essentially, this inspired this bit. You came, you saw, you opened up the door. Door, house, linking it in. You came, you saw, you the next line is you robbed my light drowned us in eternal night which i just love like that imagery of being drowned in eternal night it's so it's so melodramatic it's so me um i just i love that line of all the lines in this song i think it's my favorite but yeah i'm toying with you stole my light you robbed my light i've kind of gone with robbed because it's a little less cliche and I have so many other cliches in this song so you robbed my life drowned us in eternal night none of this was conscious by the way this just felt right in the moment but now that I pick it apart I can see what I've done but um then I wanted to change the um vocal lines so that it would build so that when you get to the chorus it it like you've already built towards it so the melody changes here but it's the same kind of uh pattern you claim to be exactly what i need which oh my gosh against these chords i love it it's just it's so Delicious. Taking my own trumpet here. But now I see you in misery. The word misery definitely came because me and my boyfriend were talking about that hailstorm um, song, Miss the Misery, and I just had that word in my head uh, from chatting about that, but it just worked so well. And something I used to do a lot when I first got into writing lyrics um, and melody lines um, and being a bit of a lyricist is that where you go e like up and down on a note I just it's very me it's juicy <laughs> and then it goes into the chorus this house and you can see how like it builds up to it and then you're almost primed for that punchy higher vocals in the chorus the second verse took a little bit more time <laughs> not that much longer it just didn't flow as quickly because i was thinking where can i go fr from this so the first verse is all like you you came you saw you opened up the door you robbed my light drowned us in eternal night you made me blah 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 it's all about you 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 and i thought well how can i flip this how where can i go from this I'll flip it onto me. So I was lost, a puzzle in a box, which I think I'm gonna change to puppet in a box because it works better with the rest of the lyrics. My twisted insides causing me to rot. I envision it like a jack in the box. You know, when you squish a jack in the box, uh, puppet into the box, it's co it like coils in, it's twisted. So the twisted insides causing me to rot. And I do do this a lot. I like start with an idea and I just sing what flows out of me and then I craft it afterwards. I like fine tune it because I think there's some freedom in, in not feeling like it's finalized and being able to change it up as and when you think the song would benefit from it. And then I flipped it back to tie it all in. You took your shot. When I was all alone, but now I know everything was for show. 
With the second verse, it kind of goes somewhere a lot more heartfelt at the end. It goes higher. It, um, I feel like I put a lot more gumption into it because it feels like injustice at the end of those lyrics. So yeah, I love that. I also wrote on the second day, I wrote a little intro. My inspiration behind this intro was that when I watch a rock band live, you instantly know what song it is um, <laughs> by the intro. And often with my favorite bands, it's like a guitar intro. So I thought I'll play around with something, envisioning what it would be like if I were a big band and if I was on a big stage and what would make me excited as a fan of a big band, well it would be instantly recognising a song and being like, oh my gosh, I love this song! And um, <laughs> then it builds up to the vocals coming in and then by the time the vocals are in, you're like, there. That's how I envision this because that's where I want to go with this project. At some point, it might take a long time to get there, but at some point, I want to be on a big stage and I want to have the people who have supported me um, recognize the song instantly and get really excited because they were there at the beginning when I was writing it. Like this song right now, um, one day I will play on a stage. I also wrote a second chorus at the end, which the inspiration for this is I wanted it to be a little bit more melodramatic, like a little bit emo band, you know, when um, they kind of lose their shit at the end of, uh, end of a song and just go full on uh, into their feelings as opposed to sticking in any kind of realm of reality and just push the song like beyond uh, where it actually needs to go and um, up another level. That's kind of where I was going with this. So I was like, how can I make this even more dramatic than it is? <laughs> this house marked me with its scars, mutilate my heart and leave me in the cold. This house asphyxiate my soul, swallowing it whole. You hurt me from the start. <laughs> it's the epitome of like, where can I push this to its limit? So yeah, all the drama, all the melodrama. I'm currently recording all my music on a MacBook Air, which um, is like trying to go down a motorway on a tricycle. So this is where it's at right now, without any drum or bass track, without potentially another guitar uh, line in there, I'm not sure yet. It still needs to be developed, but but the song as it is with the arrangement is all written, all the words are written, the melody is written, and um, yeah, this is it. in eternal night you claimed to be exactly what i need but now i see you are my misery this house contaminated with memories poisoned by the debris of a broken Lost 
a puppet in a box, my twisted insides causing me to rot. You took your shot when I was all alone, but now I know everything was for show. Obviously it needs a bit of work. I'm gonna let it marinate for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, whatever. I'm gonna work on my skills. I'm gonna get myself to a point where I can develop this as far as I can by myself.